right, we're about to do the best part of the monastery on crushing. Um, Abstract and Drunk helping me out with this video today. Obviously, uh, it's a good idea to run around and get whatever guns or ammo you want before you put Nate on the um, uh, trophy. Well, I got the XMB. I should have edited that out. So, you know, obviously before you stick Nate onto the thing, you want to be prepared because once you stick him on there, enemies start spawning and such. But the statue protection does not start immediately. But if you die after that, then it, you respawn and it does start immediately. But we're going to get through this in one playthrough. Um, and as far as where the rocket guys spawn from, uh, you notice my teammates are still up there on the steps where you come out of the church from. And if you look at the six spots where the rocket guys spawn and if you count from left to right uh, we refer to them as the number one spot the number two spot three four five and six and uh you know having numbers designated to the spots really helps being that there are three of us we're gonna each take two spots to watch so i'm gonna be responsible for the number three and the number four spots and um that also helps when you have like armored rocket guys in one of your locations you can just yell out you know like number number one number one or you know number five and you know your other teammates can turn around and watch your back so basically uh drunk and abstract are going to be hanging out on the steps watching each other's backs but uh i'm going to go actually block the number four spawn point entirely and we have another video entitled um uh, monastery rocket spawns explained that if you watch that I guarantee you that should really help you understand exactly how the spawn waves work and how to exploit them because that's what we're gonna do right here and I'm gonna get the pack 80 which I'm gonna need to kill the pack man when he spawns out and I'm going over here to where the number four guys spawn at and from here I have a perfect view of the number three spot and you notice um, no rocket guys are spawning right now um, because they're not going to spawn until you kill a certain number of these guys that uh, are running around on the ground so I'm talking to my teammates right now and you know they're like shooting helmets off of the heavies heads and trying to kill the heavies first and um, getting everything ready and that's the number three spot that I'm aiming at right there uh, like I said we are actually gonna get through this on the first try and the statue is only gonna take one hit of damage but we have a completely separate video for getting the uh, overseer trophy if you want to get the curator medal and um, we pretty much use the same tactic in that video but I, I explain things a little bit differently and like I said the other video that we put up titled uh, Monastery Rocket Spawns Explained shows the gameplay from the position of the steps which is where my teammates are right now so you can kind of see this entire thing played out from different perspectives I know that's a lot of videos to watch but if you really want to get a complete clear understanding of how to completely uh, rape this map then I would suggest you checking out those videos because uh, I think they would help so once again I'm just waiting and uh, finally they kill some people in the first wave of rocket guys spawns right here and so obviously uh, I'm responsible like I said for the number three number four spots there's a guy spawning in three and I'm blocking four so nobody's ever gonna spawn there now we got snipers coming out when Nate says I need more time like you just saw at the bottom of the screen in the subtitles uh, we're in a break and that is when the Pac-Man spawns and uh, whichever player has the pack 80 you should be responsible for taking him out and we're gonna do this in one playthrough but like I said if you watch the other videos if you watch the video we did for the overseer trophy it's called overseer trophy talk through um, that shows what it would be like if you were to die and respawn how to get back to this section um, so basically I'm gonna come down here and get the ammo that he dropped now I've got 180 rounds again and you notice once again no rocket guys are spawning whatsoever because we're in a break and uh, like I said uh, I tried to explain in the other video exactly how all that works that's why I called it monastery rocket spawns explained I really would not have time to explain it in this video and explain the gameplay that I'm doing so unfortunately it just took more than one video so now we're in the next 
wave is where Elena says, hurry up, Nate, and I happen to get a sniper in the number three spot, um, but I had to kill him because I don't have cover from him. If you get snipers to spawn in the number one and number two spots, you leave them there um, because they'll block the rocket guys from spawning. So I had an armored rocket guy spawn right there, and you saw I just clicked on army of three, but one of the guys on the ground threw a grenade at me at the same time, and I can't very well throw a grenade back and uh, kill my armored rocket guy but when my teammates killed him you notice the statue still is not taking any damage now I sat there and let myself die out because my dead body was still blocking that spawn but it's not not blocking it any longer but we are in the second break so everything's fine uh, when I say break what I mean is that no rocket guys are spawning you notice no one shooting rockets at the statue uh, and like I said if you have no idea what I'm talking about or how to uh, create these breaks that's what the other video is for. So I'm running back over here, rolling, 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 so the snipers don't get me. And I'm going to get back in position, pick back up my pack 80, and continue to block this spawn point when we enter the third and final wave of rocket guys who spawn. So once again, I'm communicating with my teammates. I'm telling them, you know, I'm back in position. You can go ahead and kill some people because that is what spawns the waves is... Uh, killing certain people so Nate says almost got it you see that at the bottom of the screen that is the signal that the third wave has begun so there will be one rocket guy uh, who happened to have spawned on the number six location so obviously we're not seeing him because my camera is only showing the number three spot and then after he spawns um, two grabbers spawn and then you see right there I tried to throw that grenade back and it bounced off the wall and that sucks so I have died again we would have made it through this without any team deaths whatsoever um, but I had to goof up and die twice so uh, actually the first time that I got the overseer trophy I was with pain and drunk and they didn't die I died twice in that also because I was way back over here in the corner and when these guys throw grenades at you, sometimes bad things happen. So anyway, statue still has not taken any damage. I hit square to respawn in the center of the map instead of triangle to spawn where my partners were. And so I actually made it back to my position. And I'm blocking number four and watching number three once again. And um, actually, uh, yeah, the statue took a hit of damage. And I remember Drunk was saying that uh, the rocket guy came out and double fired at him uh, which happens I've seen that happen a few times uh, like at least a dozen times really sometimes a game will just completely cheat and the guys will come out and fire two rockets back to back uh, without reloading and sometimes the games just cheat like that and most of the time uh, the guys fire a rocket that misses to start with but sometimes they hit it on their first shot so anyway I get another armored rocket guy in the number three spot right here and I don't have army of three anymore so I just unloaded on him and I dropped him but we've been communicating so we know that that is the last rocket guy because you can keep count once again like I said the other video explains exactly how all that works and what it looks like from the position of the guys on the steps so now we know that um, there are no more rocket guys, so I don't have to worry about blocking that spot. I don't have to worry about staring up at that number three window or anything like that. I can just run around and kill people on the ground because once these guys on the ground are dead, we'll trigger the next checkpoint. Uh, but you do want to watch yourself because a lot more heavies spawn at this point. Uh, like you can see this guy right here. When I say heavies, obviously, I mean uh, the guys with armor and the helmets that you have to shoot off. And... Uh, once we kill them and trigger the checkpoint, we're actually not done with this map. Um, we're playing to beat it. We got bosses coming out. Watch our next video. We got a super secret way of killing those bosses really easily um, by glitching the checkpoint. So, hope you check that out.